Hello everybody, my name is Yerlan Nusipov. I teach at Kazakh Medical University of Continuing Education. Today I will tell you about a typical pathological process, it is fever. Fever is typical pathological process, an increase in body temperature as a result of changes in the activity of the thermoregulation center under the influence of pyrogenic substance. The thermoregulation center is located in the hypothalamus. The center consists of several morphological formation. It is heat sensitive part. Thermal adjustment parts determine the level of body temperature, heat production center and heat uh, transfer center. Thermoregulation center uh, maintains of body temperature at a constant level. Fever occurs by special substance pyrogens. Pyrogens are divided into infectious and non-infectious and by origin on exopyrogens and endopyrogens. Infectious are viruses, bacteria, fungi, protozoa. Non-infectious are aseptic inflammation, burns, injuries, hemorrhages, massive hemolysis of red blood cells, allergic reaction, tumors. Exopyrogens are high molecular weight, lipopolysaccharides secreted by microbes. Exopyrogens are not allergenic, not toxin, not antigens. Endopyrogens are formed in white blood cells, neutrophils, macrophages and lymphocytes. Fever pathogenesis chain. It begins with the introduction of microbes, viruses uh, or tissue demons in the body. Macrophages are activated to cells and are any tissues. Macrophages synthesize interleukin-1. Interleukin-1 gets into the bloodstream and reaches the hypothalamus. In the hypothalamus, the synthesis of prostaglandin E2 increases, which excites sympathetic structure. Interleukin-1 acts on thermal adjustment part of the hypothalamus. Normally, the heat setting part stabilizes the temperature of body uh, by an average of 36.6 degrees. Interleukin-1 rises the temperature threshold, Jerry for the thermal installation part interprets the body temperature as low. The excess stability uh, of uh, cold sensitive nervous increases because of this there is a limitation of heat transfer of the body the accessibility of heat sensitive nervous is reduced because of this there is an, an increase in heat production as a result of this process the body temperature rise to a new level of the temperature threshold The clinical stages of fever. The first stage in the stage of rising the temperature. Since the temperature threshold is an increase in the hypothalamus, an increase in body temperature begin. As the tone of the sympathetic nervous system increases, as a result narrowing of vessels of the skin, there is a chills color of skin, muscles tremors, muscles contraction of the hair sacs. This is an increase in heat generation called contractile thermogenesis. 
together with this uh, there is a decrease in sweating I reduced the uh, heat loss of the environment further there is increase in metabolism in the liver leukogenolysis and lipolysis increase this is also an increase in heat generation called non-contractile thermogenesis at this stage heat generation prevails our heat transfer mainly due to a decrease in heat transfer in second stage the temperature is keep at high level there is an increase in tone of parasympathetic nervous system as a result of this vasodilation occurs symptoms of feeling of heat redness of skin appears and skin feelings are hot to the touch the heat transfer to the external environmental increases along with the delay of sodium and chlorine ions there is a loss of fluid in this stage the heat transfer is equal to the heat output in the third stage <clears throat> decrease in temperature occurs heat transfer excess uh, heat production due to vasodilation and increased sweating there is a gradual decrease in temperature and sharp decrease in temperature a sharp decrease in temperature is dangerous by development of collapse in this stage the heat production is normalized and the heat transfer increase Types of fever according to the degree of temperature rise. Low grade up to 38 degrees, moderate 38, 39 degrees, high 39 to 40 degrees, excessive 41 and above degrees. Types of fever depending on fluctuations in daily body temperature. Constant if continual daily fluctuation and not exceeds 1 degree. Laxative if remittance daily fluctuation of 1-2 degrees. Intermittent if intermittent large temperature fluctuation but in the morning the temperature drops to normal. Exhausting if nestica daily fluctuation of 3-5 degrees. Returns of recurrence alternation 2-7 days with fever and 2-7 days without fever. Atypical if ethnopisat inverse violation of the circadian rhythm morning temperature is higher than evening. Metabolic changes in fever. Basal metabolic for every degree of temperature increase. Basal metabolic increases by 10-12%. Carbohydrate metabolism. An increase in glycogenolysis in the liver. A decrease in glycogen supply in the liver. Slight hyperglycemia. Fat metabolism. Increased lipolysis hyperlipidemia, increased ketogenesis, ketonemia, protein metabolism, negative uh, nitrogen balance, increased proteolysis, hyperazotemia, water salt metabolism. In two stages in isosmolar hyperhydration, in three stages of hyperosmolar hypohydration. Violation of the function of the body system with fever, cardiovascular system, an increase in body temperature by 1 degree increases the heart rate by 8-10 beats. This is due to the effect of warm blood on sinus nodes. Respiratory system, an increase in body temperature by 1 degree, increases the respiratory rate by 2-3 per minute. Digestive system, depression of the 
digestive gland, depression of motility of the stomach and intestines. Excretory system increased diuresis in stages 1 fever, decreased diuresis in stage 2 fever, increases diuresis in stage 3 fever. Central nervous system, headache, drowsiness, enscomia, hallucinations. In conclusions, the importance of fever for the body, activation of phagocytosis, activation in antibody production, increased interferon production, increased body resistance, violation of the reduction uh, of microbes and viruses, increasing the sensitivity of microbes to antibiotics, inhibition of allergic reaction. Uh, I talked about fever, atypical pathological processes, it is pathogenesis and clinical stages. Thank you for your attention. See you.